apparently getting a typewriter, so like doing a deal of another kind. Do you have uh, paper? Something that would work with this. this. Guy's trying to enjoy a nice coffee. I'm just ruining his day. Imagine life without tech. <laughs> Oh my god, oh, it sucks so much. It felt too real. But seriously, somehow our parents and our grandparents managed to get by without it. So today we're gonna do a little experiment where we replace some of our most commonly used tech. No, why would you, this, I, I don't wanna know where that's been. I meant a laptop and we are gonna be going way back to replace it. I'm not talking this, this far back. This is a pen, this is a, no, uh, this isn't what I meant. This is even further back. What am I, a caveman? You know what, I'll just get it myself. I mean, with a typewriter. I don't know why I had the newspaper to begin with, but this thing was not easy to get. All right guys, so in order to get a typewriter, apparently you can't just get it anywhere. So we've had to call up a guy, the typewriter guy, and he showed up. I don't know if we're allowed to film or not because, you know, apparently getting a typewriter is like doing a, a deal of another kind. So he's just outside. We're gonna do a little sneak peek. We're gonna blur it out, but this is actually how you have to get a typewriter apparently. The man pulled up in his car. <laughs> we're buying typewriters out of his trunk right now. <laughs> All right, we'll see what typewriter we get. Yeah. All right, yeah. so we've got a couple of typewriters right here. What's a good typewriter? Certainly, well, what you want is one that's nice and clean, so I can show you around this one. So inside, you know, you don't want to see a lot of dust and buildup and grime okay. and that kind of thing, because as they sit for years, they just accumulate you know, all kinds of crap. Yeah. That's one thing to look for. Obviously a nice smooth action, you know, smooth keys, everything working properly. So That's a lot of them cool. come in the travel case. So, Ooh. I mean, they're pretty heavy to lug around Fancy. without one. This one I recommend just cause it's like, it's almost new. Yeah. Like you can even see the inside of the case. Looks so it beautiful. Means, like hasn't been used much. Hasn't been used much. Ooh. I would recommend this one. This one's fancy. Yeah, this one's, this one's great. This is the Benz of typewriters. That's yeah, eh? close, man. It's close. <laughs> they call it a Bentley, man. It's a fast hey, one. Okay. Yeah. These two have the best ribbons right now and they're in the best shape. You can have two bills. I'm asking 260 on this, 240, but for you, 200 is fine. Yeah, I would go for this one. Okay, cool. Yeah. We'll do that. All right, sweet man. All right, we secured the bed. But seriously, that guy's out of a movie, fam. Tell me he's not out of a movie. Bro, I swear, if you told me that guy's in the mob, I'd believe you. But he's chopping typewriters. Like, that's a gig? I didn't even know that was a job. My mind is blown and we just started the video. I can't wait to see what the rest of the day holds. So one of our production assistants is outside. And it looks like she's spitting game at the typewriter guy. Oh shit, <laughs> This is your day job? What do you do on the weekends? <laughs> Oh, it was too good. So now that we've secured the bag, or, or the typewriter in this case, it's time to move on from my laptop, even though it pains me to say, and go back in time and use the typewriter, which was invented in 1874 and was used all the way up until the 1980s. So they stopped using this before I was even born. Now, with that being said, I am kind of worried about what we're gonna find inside here because as you guys saw, that was a... Uh, that was an interesting buying experience. It was definitely unique. I've never experienced anything like that. I swear. I know you guys don't believe me, but I've never done anything like that before. And it's time to pop into this. Let's see what we got. Oh my. It says Smith Corona. Apparently that's the good good. The Bentley of type. I don't know. I have no idea. First things first, I gotta figure out how to actually use this thing so that I can replace all of the other things I use my MacBook for. How do I even... It's gonna be a long day. How do, I need paper. You know, there's a lot of different problems I could foresee when I came up with this video idea. And one of the first ones that I didn't even think about was how do you put paper in a typewriter? I, I don't even know. I've never done this before. I might have like touched the keys on there. Oh, it's the thing popping. I thought somebody was shooting back at me. Ooh. Okay, we're just gonna. Everything is. Uh, all the keys are stuck. I might have broke it. Maybe you're not supposed to use this without having paper in it. Oh, that's how you get the... <laughs> what? Oh my God. Okay, let's try putting paper in here. Do I lift this? Oh, <laughs> come on. Look at look at me. I think you slide this in. There's no way this is right. This is... What? <laughs> how do you do this? Yo, this is so complicated. Did you have to go to school for six months to learn how to use a typewriter? Do this. Is there another way you put this in? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna just I'm gonna just try and type something. See what happens. Where's the space bar? There's, oh, it, oh, that's the space bar. It's like blended in. How do you do that? 
Oh shit. All right, so we have our first composed letter on the typewriter. Smash the like button. Okay, uh, I've just been informed by someone who's as old as this that I should take it. <laughs> Sorry, double the age of this. How do you take? What do you mean take it out? It doesn't want to come out. I wonder if this is what like my parents feel like when using a MacBook. It's just like really weird tech to them. Is there like a lock? I don't even know what this is supposed to do, okay? This is just showing me how far technology has come. How did people get by with this? Okay, I don't even know how to, how do I send it back? This thing like rockets back and forth. In case you forgot, smash the like button. The ink uh, is not very legible and I think I had a spelling error. It was Bhutan, but we're, we're gonna figure this out, okay? Oh, oh, this makes so much more sense. Oh my God, wow. Thank you. We have an in-house audience again today, guys. They're clapping for us. Charlotte, don't act like you knew how to do this. <laughs> so now it is time to write my first proper letter. Wait, is everything caps? This is a shift key. It's just a blank key. Okay. No, oh shit, I forgot. <laughs> I just put two letters on the same spot. How do you? <laughs> this sucks. I want my laptop back. <laughs> no backspace. I bet you they killed a lot of trees back then. Okay, let's try this again. Boom. Oh, it's only when you press shift that it stays in the same spot. What? This is how my dad writes on a keyboard. How do I go down a, a, a layer? Oh, I rotate. Oh my. I'm gonna go down a little further. Any guesses? Comment down below what you think this is or who you think it's to. Ooh, okay, I got the exclamation mark. That that still works the same. This is a process. Imagine writing an article in the newspaper. It would take ages, anytime, anything. A paper, oh my God. I, I already wanna just give up on this challenge. Okay, I'm done my first real proper letter. This smash the like button was obviously a joke. And now, I'm gonna hand deliver the letter. Read the letter. JJ, get back there. Sincerely, sure. All right, now that we've got the first letter writing out of the way, and I'm feeling a little bit more comfortable with the machine, you know, I feel like we're one at this point. It's like one of my limbs. I could just use it so easily. My main question is, how am I gonna use Google? What did they do? Oh, an encyclopedia, that's what they used. Oh my God. You actually had to read this much if you had questions? I guess maybe they just asked other people. A world without Google is such a scary place. So that's the solution, which sucks for the record. I much prefer Google. What about autocorrect or spell check or any of those things? We just... Just more reading. Webster's New Collegiate Dictionary. I haven't used one of these in a in like 15, 20 years. I bet you some of you guys at home have never used a dictionary because you didn't need to. That's just how it is. The other main thing that I'm really predominantly worried about is what about Netflix, fam? I watch a lot of Netflix on my computer and I there's, there's not even a screen here. So how am I gonna entertain myself? More books, reading. I'm starting to sense a bit of a theme here. Look at this. It's probably fitting we have our little library in the background here, because I'm probably gonna need all the books I possibly can have in order to get through the day. But you know what? I'm trying to set the mood so that I really can embrace going back to the 1960s. So let's hit the lights. All right. The mood is set. We had to add some unnatural lighting to fit with our candle theme, but it, you see the vibes. I imagine this is how some of the first books were written. Maybe not the first, but like, definitely when this came out, more books, it was easier. Now it's even easier, but this was like a big one for novelists. Is that what you call, I don't know. Point is, I feel like right now, I could write the best novel of all time. It's your novelist, it's your JK Rowling, and I'm gonna do it live. Not live, but like on camera, kind of live, but it's not live right now. Are you ready? Prepare to witness history. Not for the first time, an argument had broken out over breakfast at number four Privet Drive. Mr. Vernon Dursley had been woken in the early hours of the morning by a loud hooting noise from his nephew Harry's room. Third time this week, he roared across the table. If you can't control that owl, it'll have to go. Harry tried yet again to explain. She's bored, he said. She's used to flying around outside. If I could let her out just for one night. Do I look stupid, snarled Uncle Vernon, a bit of fried egg dangling from his bushy mustache. I know what'll happen if you let that owl out. Wait, isn't that Harry Potter? Who, no, what, huh? It's not Harry, Harry Potter. It's Harry, uh... It's Harry Pothead. 
Yeah, I, I, I was literally, that was the beginning of Harry Potter, the first book. I didn't know what else to write, but seriously, I wrote the entire thing out and just look, just look at how miserable this looks. It's a mess. The amount of mistakes I made is insane. It's almost illegible. Oh my God. The amount of whiteout I would have to use. Is that what they use? They must use whiteout. I don't know. But you know what? I'm going to blow these out before I start fire. All right. So now that we've written this lovely letter and we set the vibes, it's time to take this out with us into the world because, you know, a, a whole point of having a laptop is that you can transport it places with you. A desktop, you can't do that. And I'm sure there's version of this typewriter that you wouldn't move. But this one is a mobile one. And we did that intentionally so we could traverse the world with it. But before we do that, I just wanted to show you guys, can't actually take it out of the case. Basically, there's some latch underneath it. We figured it out and you put the case down, put it off to the side. And this is what your typewriter vibes look like, you know? One thing I did experience while I was writing this that I just feel is so iconic. You hear it? Bing! It tells you you're at the end. It's like, bing. I feel like I, all the movies, they have that. I don't know. Jay, you probably know about this. Like you grew up with this because you're so old, right? Oh, this is actually what you learned how to type on. <laughs> no like, way. Like <laughs> <laughs> he just told me that off camera. I'm like, go, oh, just turn the camera on. <laughs> but it actually is what he learned how to type on. That's like, right. You can't make this up. You can't, it's, just, it's too good. Okay. Let's go explore the world. I feel like my shoulder's about to pop out of my socket and we've been outside for five minutes. Not even five minutes, five seconds, 15 seconds. I don't know how you would actually transport this with you anywhere you go. Cause you know what else I realized, Jay? I use my laptop to buy everything off Amazon. This isn't exactly connected to Amazon. If I run out of paper, for example, I gotta go actually go into a store and buy paper at the store. Oh shit, this is unbearable. We have to go all the way across the mall just to go get paper because we ran out at the office. And like I said, I can't order anything off Amazon and I guess it would take a full day to get here anyways. This is the only thing that's more convenient, going out and buying things instead of ordering them off Amazon. Well, you have to wait a day. Taking Amazon delivers you shit in one day and I'm complaining about it. Yo, whoever journalists must have been deezed back in the day. Whoever, whatever job it was that you would have one of these, they were jacked. Grip strength on wool. Gains, baby. Ah. Hi, do you have paper? Like paper to put in this? Oh, I see. Um, no. However, in the mall, across from Toys R Us is Printwell. All right, we'll go check there. There's this place called the Defen Bunker in Ottawa, and it's where like they would have hid out if there was a nuclear war during the Cold War, and they have all kinds of old ass tech in there, and they had typewriters in there. That's the only time I've ever seen a typewriter. Printwell's closed. The quest continues. I don't know how much longer I can do this for. Though. Excuse me. Do you have uh, paper? Something that would work with this. I think any form any, of paper will form. work. Like printer paper will work. Yeah. <laughs> Understandably so. I don't think people use them very often anymore. You have them here? They might not have printer paper here. We might just be out of luck. <laughs> like I said, not very convenient. I mean, beggars can't be choosers, right? <laughs> here, I can hold it. Thank you very much. See, maybe this is a good thing. Normally I would have stayed inside. I wouldn't have left the house. You leave, you get out of the house, you're social, you meet other people, you have good conversations, you laugh. Yeah, that's the main thing I'm trying to get to. I find new editors so I can finally replace Jay because he's always slacking, sleeping on the job, doing half-ass edits. You guys think he does all the edits? I have to do 90%. Okay, I'm lying. <laughs> yeah, that was a joke. We got the paper a lot and we're gonna head over to Starbucks now and sit down and do some work. What work? I'm not really sure, but we'll find out. I wonder if this is a regular site back in the day someone with a big stack of paper and their typewriter just walking around i don't know you would know was this normal <laughs> back in the 60s, 60s. <laughs> <My G. laughs> unlike people who do this for pranks i don't want to disturb anybody i'm just trying to do some work you know like i would if i had my macbook well let's see how this goes fortunately the music is pretty loud in here so i don't know if people can hear it this is so loud I think I'm being annoying. So far, no one stopped me yet, though. Oh, we got some people looking at me, though. I'm gonna try and type very gently. Very gentle. I don't know how annoying <laughs> on a scale of what the time right now. This guy's trying to enjoy a nice coffee. I'm just ruining his day. Ooh, how about the Niners? 
might be getting in trouble right now. It's not too bad. It's like kind of loud, but I feel like the music is making it all right. I'll get into character more. I think the employees like it. You know, of all places, I feel like a Starbucks is where this would normally happen too. I'm a vibe. Like, I just feel like a hipster right now. That's all I feel like. I'm, I'm just making noise, really. That's all. I'm not even writing anything right now. This is probably so annoying. Oh my God, I'm getting annoyed right now. Yeah, like right behind you, they keep looking. I'm done writing my uh, newsletter for the day. It's gonna be in the newsletter and it's right here. So work day is done. Uh, let's uh, let's head out before we annoy anyone else. <laughs> okay, that wasn't so bad, you know? It was definitely a little obnoxious and I think if there were more people in there, we would have been pissing a few people off. There was one guy who was solo, like drinking a coffee, just hanging out and he kept looking over. I think you were filming him too. He didn't look too impressed, but he wasn't like annoyed enough to say something about it, you know? So you could probably get by. A lot of people thought it was cool too, you know? There's some of the staff that were laughing and stuff like that. It just makes you the center of attention. It's kind of a vibe in that sense, but it's just, too much of a pain to lug around so i'm definitely looking forward to getting my macbook back and just getting back into the office so i don't have to carry this anymore all right folks that was an interesting experience but we are now back in the office and i'm going to show you guys something else you have to do if you're using a typewriter as opposed to a laptop so obviously the one thing that is slightly beneficial compared to a computer is this prints it right away it's kind of like a polaroid for typing but if you were to use a macbook or a laptop or a computer or anything else and you wanted to get a physical copy of something you got to print it out so you need a whole nother machine. But this one, it'll just print it straight away. However, where the printer far surpasses the typewriter is when it comes to making a copy. So a printer, you could print like 100, 200, 300, however many copies of something as you want. Or if you have one and you wanna get a copy, you could scan it, print it again, or use a copier, or whatever the case may be. But back in the day, you didn't have that luxury. So instead, what you had to use was carbon paper, which you put in between two pieces of paper, and that's how you make a copy of something. And let's say, for example, I'm writing out my script for a video or I'm doing something like that. Typically, we would need a couple copies. Well, that's what I would be doing at some point throughout the day. So we're gonna test it out and see exactly how this works. So here's our carbon paper. Basically, you have to cut it so that it fits kind of the same. Oh my God, this is gonna be a mess. I can already tell. Take in, this is the process you have to go through every time you wanna make a copy. So then I would have to line this up that it's the exact same and cut so we've got our two pieces and then we put them through just like we normally do i think i'm doing this right bring it all through like so and we would write something uh video script so video script how many uploads I got? Like 400, number 412. Now let's pop it out and see if it actually went through and made a copy on the other side. Or maybe I messed it up. I messed it up. Yeah, I, I, I messed it up. Okay, we gotta, we gotta try this again. Uh, okay, I think, it, I think it'll work this time. Let's try this again. Video script. Okay, all right. Let's see if this one works. Oh, it worked. Oh my God. But there you go, video script, bam. So that's how you would make a copy back in the day. Not the most efficient way and an absolute pain. Thank God I have my laptop. Thank God I'm not writing a script today. I'm just filming today. So this is just a test. I don't actually have to do an entire thing and use it for tomorrow. All right, well, now that we're done with that, there is something I actually do on a daily basis that I'm going to have to do with the typewriter. Ugh. All right, so typically I like to end my day off before I head home by answering all my emails because otherwise I just answer emails all day long. And that's something I normally do with my laptop. Now I am gonna cheat a little bit because, well, I have to know what emails I'm replying to, okay? So I'm gonna go on my phone because technically I'm allowed to use my phone and I'm going to reply to an email. So my manager, Trevor, sent me an email about a video shoot we're doing next week, which you guys are probably pretty excited about. You guys remember the Tesla videos? I mentioned we were going to be shooting my Tesla. Well, that's coming up, and we got an email from the people who are helping us out with that. Don't have to say much. I just say, all right, sounds good, essentially, which is good. But once I write my email, I can't send it via email, so I'm going to have to regular mail the letter to Trevor. <laughs> oh my God, this is the first time I'm actually writing something that I need to send. Okay, sounds good. Saturday, preferably. Oh my God. Saturday at 1 p.m. Oh no, that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> we'll only need three hours. Did I mess that up? No, okay, we're good. 
Cheers, Sean. All right, there is our email. I'm only answering one email today, okay? You know, if you sent me an email and it was it was recent, well, guess what? You're just gonna have to wait an extra day until I'm not using a typewriter instead of my laptop, and I'll reply then. Another piece of old tech that we have to use is the mail for sending something besides a package. So I gotta fold this up. I don't even know how to, is there a technique to this? Now, speaking of my phone, if you guys wanna see me do a part two of this challenge where I swap out my phone for some other old piece of tech, for example, like a pager. I don't know what else there is. You guys let me know any ideas you have down below for other things that I could swap my phone for. And if we get over 30,000 likes on this video and you guys enjoy the series, I'll keep it going. I was thinking I could swap my phone and I could also swap my Tesla for a horse, which I think would be pretty interesting. So let me know what you guys think I should swap my phone for. And now we're going to send some snail mail. I even have a stamp. I have to write the address and everything on here. We've got this ready. I gotta drop this off. I'm probably gonna see Trevor before I, he even gets this mail. So I'll just tell him then. But um, for the sake of the video, I gotta, I gotta use snail mail. I can't use real email. All right, guys. So we've done a lot of different things to replace our MacBook. But one of the things besides, I mean, we did mention I would have to read as a game. But the team here set me up with something fun to do. And what? They put Guy's face on the... I'm not really sure why they keep having me hurt Guy. I, I think maybe they have a thing against Guy. I swear I didn't set it up. Okay, Guy? This wasn't me. I think this was in case I got frustrated. But I didn't really get too frustrated. But they did also set up a little game right here that apparently would be fitting for the time. So let's take a look at that. You guys think this is funny, eh? This is funny to you. First Guy, now me. So th this is what, throwing darts at the boss? This is how you guys really feel, eh? All right. I was actually excited to play darts. Now I have to make it into a different game where you try to purposely miss the target. That must have been what they were playing, right? Purposely miss Ooh. shit. I don't like this game. And uh, we're, I'm gonna have to have a talk with the team later. Now I need the punching bag. You know what? Maybe I'm gonna put the team on the punching bag. Maybe this was Guy's idea, after all, you know? Huh, Guy? Was this you? Huh? Ow, that hurts. Okay, I'm giving the team too much freedom these days. They're just coming up with weird things, turning my face into a dart game. But it's almost the end of the day. I did realize one other thing that I wouldn't be able to do. Send e-transfers. So I guess I'd have to like write a check or something. Fortunately, I don't have to do that every single day. But I do have to head home now. I don't know what I'm gonna need my laptop for at home, but I'll see you guys there and we'll see what additional problems we run into. Okay guys, I've been home for a few hours now, uh, just watching TV. I did debate going on my computer, but I decided to really do the challenge properly. I'm not gonna use my computer or my laptop. Obviously I wasn't using my laptop, but they're so similar. I figure I just can't use either. So I've just been watching some good old cable TV all day today, which was, uh, you know, not bad. I didn't have anything else I could do with this. It's not like you can play any games, but it is time to end off the day and I'm about to go to bed. And one thing that I normally use my laptop for is I make a little to-do list of things that I'm gonna do tomorrow so that I'm prepared and I'm ready to take on the day and make the day the best I possibly can. I'd advise doing the same. It just, it, it actually helps quite a bit. So we're gonna pop open the typewriter and I'm gonna type out my list. You know, maybe I'll even like it better because then I'll have a physical copy. Let's pop this open for the last time and make my to-do list. <sighs> I forgot to get paper.